Hello Kate, this will be some video feedback for you on Milestone 2, which is the web banner. Um, we have two weeks left. If you need any assistance or if you need an extension like for this, um, and it's no problem, you know, especially these last few weeks. Uh, I'm glad you got it in. Um, just reach out, you know, uh, and if you submit something uh, late, try to remind, or if you could notify me that you resubmitted it. Um, so it doesn't show up too clearly on the grade book. But um, good going, and I uh, look forward to seeing how you refine your ads. Uh, Kate, this um, holds together really well. You know, I, I was wondering how you're going to do the, the what is that? What is it, like a blue Hawaiian or something? It could be any number of things, but very appetizing. <laughs> Again, you know, think about the message you're sending. Um, it has a, it has a, uh, to me, it has a, a fairy quality to it, you know, um, that needn't be uh, alcohol. And your type effects, um, is, is that aerial? I'm just curious, you know, no, no need to change it at this late date. Um, but, um, okay, so now type alignment, you know, how do you, how do you align an asymmetrical logo on top of a line of type or several lines of type? And so this, this isn't quite centered visually. You, you want to center, if you're going to center things, you need to center them visually. Think about where the, you know, where the visual uh, middle is. Um, and I, to my eye, I would slide Amethyst Bay logo over to the left a little bit. But, you know, you, you may have different visual sensibilities. Um, you might consider making the Come Sail Away, well, first of all, it should be, all be the same size type and I would um, make type or change the size of type or compress it God forbid only as a last resort so uh, I would use the same size as book with us today on come sail away or come sa come sail away yes uh, they should be the same size even if it means smaller type that's really the only uh, suggestion that I could make um, the, I like the asymmetrical composition the color adjustments are really wonderful, and it does have a sort of a, um, oh, I don't know, a fairy tale quality to it. I'm, I'm thinking kind of like uh, the Labyrinth of Pan or something. Um, nice job. Very intriguing. Can you apply the same elements uh, to your print ad? Here is your print ad. Um, <coughs> very, very competent, and I, I see uh, that you can turn things on or off. At will. Do you have some of the type effects on the in there? Yes, it looks like you do. Nice job. Um, a comprehensive self-contained file. And I see that you have advanced to the video timeline editor. Um, <clears throat> think about, you know, you know, smoother transitions perhaps. They can be handled probably better in a video timeline editor like this than the frame-based editor. So uh, you have an advanced understanding of animation and good job I mean overall you've got great ingredients um, just you know as a last parting thought think about uh, th think about all the nuances this images this image or images project